Hello my lovelies! Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well today. This is day 25 of 30 days of lockdown yoga and I am bringing you a little relaxing yin class and it's going to be a morning practice. So I think when this class goes up it's going to be a Sunday so I just think this is going to be a wonderful way to start a nice relaxing Sunday. So these are some of my favourite yin poses to do on a morning. We're not going to hold them for too long. I know people are normally strapped for time in the morning so we're going to keep this a quick little yin sequence which will just leave you feeling wonderful. You don't need any props for this class but if you have a block or a cushion then grab it because it's quite nice to rest your head onto it in some of the postures that we will be doing. And we will go and get started. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoy it, especially if you enjoy yin classes. Subscribe to stay updated. I'm posting out a new video every day at 6am for these next five days. Um, but then we'll see. I'm sure I'll come up with another challenge. And then, subs no, I've already said that. <laughs> comment, comment, leave me a comment below because that really helps my channel out a lot and we can spread the yoga word together. Grab yourself a cup of tea as well. I've got a lamp sip, which isn't very exciting. Um, but I woke up this morning and I feel like a bit of a cold is coming on, so. Together with our yin yoga and my lamp sip, we will warn it off. Okay, my lovelies, if it's comfortable for you, we're gonna start in thunderbolt pose at the end of the mat. If you find this pose quite challenging to sit on the front of the ankles and to have the feet in this sort of position, then you can sit onto a block or you can sit onto a cushion so that you take the weight off the legs. Or alternatively, just come and sit cross-legged. We're gonna find a mudra with the hands, so interlacing the fingers together and just allowing the backs of the hands to rest heavy on the tops of the thighs. I just want you to close your eyes here and take some nice deep breaths. Now we just take this time before we begin to allow your awareness and your energy and your attention to arrive on the mat. Bringing it back from whatever might be going on in your external world whatever might be happening off the mat. Whilst you are here in this practice, set an intention to just allow your thoughts to be that of the breath and the sensations arising in the physical body, completely present in the now. Just giving the mind a rest and in return, it has such positive effects on the physical body. It turns off our fight or flight response, reduces our stress hormone, it boosts our immune system. So every time you notice that your mind has wandered off the mat, you just gently guide it back to the body and back to the breath. And slowly from here, we're going to make our way into our first yin pose, which is going to be our forward fold. So slowly making your way up into your fold. So take the toes underneath, rolling up and just fold forward. So if you're quite tight in your hamstrings, keep a little bend into the knees and you can take your hands onto a block or a book, whatever you have, which will keep some of the weight out of the legs. Let your whole upper body relax. So relaxing from the base of the spine to the crown of the head. Make no effort to keep the body lifted. And depending how far down you are in your fold, you might be able to rest your forehead onto a block. Take this pose Whatever feels best for you. Maybe you fold your arms together and hold your elbows. And we just want to relax as much as we can. Breathing into any tightness, breathing into any discomfort. Completely surrendering your body to this fold. Thank you. 
for our final few breaths here, see if you can let go any further into this pose. Can you allow your upper body to grow any heavier? slowly releasing bending into the knees bring the hands down we're going to heel toe the feet to the edge of the mat so that your heels are turned in and your toes are turned out we're going to sit down into a yogi squat so if your hips are quite tight what you can do is sit onto your block or to your cushion whatever you have available so that your feet are slightly in front of your hips and this will allow you to rest a little bit. But if you want to find that deep stretch, then you want to keep your sitting bones hovering off the mat. Chest drawing towards the thumbs. Let the eyes close and direct all of your breath, your awareness and your energy down to the hip area. Breathing deep into the hips, allowing them to soften and open with each breath. And we just stay with the breath, even if it feels a little uncomfortable here, as long as there's no pain, there is so much mental power and strength that comes from staying with a position that feels a little uncomfortable. Because we are not just benefiting and strengthening the bones and the connective tissues and the muscles in the body, we're also strengthening the mind and our willpower. Just find one more deep breath in your yogi squat, in your malasana. And slowly coming down. Onto all fours, just shake the legs out behind you. So we should be nice and warmed up so we can find a deep hip opening stretch in our child's pose. So let the knees walk to the edges of the mat. Sit down to the heels. If you want to find more of a stretch, you open your knees up a little wider or you just widen the feet out a little further and almost stick to the space between the heels. Slowly sliding forward with the hands. Resting the forehead and the third eye. Stay nice and straight through the arms if you can, which will allow you to find a deeper stretch into the upper body. But if you want to relax completely, bend the elbows and let the forearms rest. With each exhale, relax deep into this pose. Let the face soften. Let the hips sink to the heels. Relax the belly. And just start to follow the rise and the fall with each inhale and exhale.
for our final few breaths here. Just like that forward fold, see if you can let go any further into the mat. On your inhale, scan your body to see if it's holding on to any tension. And let it completely melt away on your exhale out. Slowly on your next inhale, drawing through into your tabletop position. Feel free to give the legs a little shake out behind you. And from here, right foot coming to the top of the mat. At the edge of the right hand. So we're in our lizard pose, making sure your right knee is over your right ankle. And we're gonna take our time as always in our yin postures to just let the body release. Your option is to stay on the hands, to make your way down to the forearms, and you can do this on a cushion or on a block. And as you come down, you can let your right knee drop away from the body, coming onto the side of your right foot. If you can, try and support your forehead either onto your hands, maybe onto a block, so you can completely relax and let go here. Sending your breath down into the hips, into the glutes, into whatever you're feeling, the stretch or that slight discomfort, whatever that tightness may be in the body. And you just allow the body to relax and soften with each exhale out. Final few breaths here. See if you can relax any deeper into this pose. And slowly, just start to make your way back up. Join the hips back and give your right leg a little shake out. And we switch straight to the left side. Left foot outside of the left hand. Knee over the ankle. Staying on the hands or making your way down to the forearms, supporting the forehead. Remembering you can let that left knee drop out to the side and slightly come onto the edge of your left foot. And notice again on this side where that tightness is in the body. Where your body might be holding on to tension, where that energy might be stagnant or trapped. Direct your breath and your awareness to those areas to allow the energy to flow. To allow the muscles to relax and let go.
final few deep breaths here. See if you can relax any further. Not forcing, just letting go, surrendering your body into this pose. And slowly making your way back out. Shake your left leg out. Finding an opening for the upper body. Now we're going to find our puppy pose. So if you have your cushion or your block and you're fat and you find you're quite tight for your upper body, keep your hips stacked over your knees. As straight as you can be through the arms and just support your forehead onto the block. Alternatively, to deepen a stretch, you remove the block or prop. You draw your chin and your chest down. But we want to be able to relax here. As you get comfortable-ish in your pose. Just start to deepen the breath and really let go with every long exhale out. Let go of holding the upper body. Allow the forehead, if it's down, to sink into the mat or into the block. If the head is lifted, allow the chest, the heart center to melt to the mat with each exhale. Keep all of that awareness on the body and with the breath. Keep breathing into that tightness or into that discomfort in the upper body. Take your last few deep breaths here. Seeing if you can let go anymore. Finish slowly, walk the hands in. Sit down to the heels. If you find that your forehead doesn't touch the mat, just widen the knees slightly. Let the arms rest either side. Shoulders rounding, face relaxing. Feel the rise of the belly on the inhale. And your navel drawing back to the spine with every exhale. Completely allowing everything in the body here to soften and relax. This is one of the most calming poses that we can do for the body and the mind. Is folding in on ourselves and the gentle pressure on the third eye is super calming and relaxing. I just want you to find three final deep breaths. And 
slowly just coming back to where we started. Keep your eyes closed, let the hands come to the heart center. Take a moment to just notice how the energy in the body has changed from this practice. Hopefully a little calmer, more relaxed. Set an intention to take this with you, this yin energy off your mat and into your day. Bow your head to your heart. Namaste.